Hello and welcome guys, this is I play 4 k and this video today I decided to go ahead and show you Batman Arkham Origin running 4K resolution with the two Radeon Pro Duo, yes it's crazy, two video cards, Radeon Pro Duo in Crossfire, each Radeon Pro Duo is dual GPU video card, so two Radeon Pro Duo is a four GPU video card, quad, quad, they call it quad, quad GPU video card in Crossfire and uh, Radeon Pro Duo is dual GPU video card which has Fuji XT AMD GPU on it two of those so Fuji XT GPU can be found in the AMD R9 Fury X video card as well so single Radeon Pro Duo is equal to Fury X um, video cards in Crossfire and two Radeon Pro Duo is equal to four Fury X video cards in Crossfire so today you're watching during this video four Fury X in Crossfire wow the best in 2016 all right here's the settings guys MSAA I'm going to turn it off first let's go ahead and save it and come on all right look like I saved it and uh, I'm recording today with external video recorder which is professional video recorder and it's external so the fps that you can see at the right left top during the benchmark is going to be the real fps and there is single even single percent not a single percent of performance loss not a single fps drop so whatever you see that fps you, you can take it to the bank you can compare it with everything that you like I don't know why when I'm clicking graphics options it's kind of freezing for about a couple seconds and then unfreezing. It doesn't do it in 3-way Titan X and 4-way Titan X. It does it with this Radiant Pro Duo, I'm not sure why. But I'm using 16.6.1 AMD driver, which is the latest driver available in June 2016. Today is June 2016, uh, which is the June uh, 15, 2016. Here we go guys. Everything maxed out, anti-aliasing is off. This is the first benchmark will be anti-aliasing off. Physics is off too because AMD doesn't support naturally, natively the physics by NVIDIA. We're going to run this anti-aliasing off, then we're going to crank up MSAA times 8. We're going to find out the performance. It's again two radial pro duo, very crazy. Same thing as Four Fury X video cards in Crossfire, similar performance. One, two FPS up and down, it doesn't matter. It's going to be similar performance. So, thumbs up for this, guys. It's a very expensive equipment, plus recorded with very expensive professional external equipment. In this external equipment, I invested 3200 US dollars just to record and to, you know, to give you the joy lag free video if there is any lag it means that lag in the game so the way i see it on monitor right now you see it on the youtube video fps are clear as it is the recording is not reflected into our fps keep that in mind as you can see scalability is not ready for four gpus by amd it's jumping 100% load on two GPUs and the third GPU and four GPU kind of sharing some performance and it's not even 50 and 50. So it's not ready as you can see. So pretty much the results will be as same as single Radeon Pro Duo, which is kind of suck, but this is what it is for uh, Unreal 4 um, uh, game engine. This is based on Unreal 4 game engine on the earlier versions. The why I'm using the Arkham Origin because the newer Batman Arkham Knight is not ready for PC. It's kind of not ready for SLI or Crossfire at all. So this is the best Batman that that we can see the scalability and kind of suck on scaling. Sometimes you can see the third video card kind of effective but not too much so it's pretty much it's going to give us a little bit more performance I'm, I'm assuming this is my first benchmark i have no idea then a single radiant pro duo we're going to find out i think maybe 20 more frames per second or something like that or 15 
or maybe 40 but not too much versus the single radiant pro duo versus the two gpus because two gpus scaling nice but four is not pretty much two gpus is scaling and third is kind of scaling over here it's supposed to be a smoke but only when you're using physics and the newspaper is going to fly it's going to give you that nice effect but you know it's amd video card so you're kind of messing uh with amd and you're losing that kind of visuals what that you can receive with nvidia as again i'm not amd boy fanboy or nvidia fanboy i'm just fanboy of the best performance what my money can buy all right average 134 so it give us about 15 frames per second i'm just gonna give you a sneak preview versus the single radiant pro duo but go ahead and watch that video over the iplay 4k youtube channel single radiant pro duo or two fury x and crossfire in compared for yourself all right guys i'm going to split screen but it's going to be when i'm going to underline the performance of the crossfire and not crossfire all right let's go ahead and put the ssa and see if it's going to help basically four gpu should should pretty much be better because they're going to perform better when you're using the anti-aliasing in 4k but as again it's up to the engine but most of the engines as again it's frozen for three four seconds not sure why most of the engine will take advantage of the multiple multiple gpus like three and four when you're using uh, pretty much let me click right control i'm going to apply and i'm going to click escape select okay and go to graphics options it should using eight times msa most of the game engines will take advantage of that even if they're scaling pretty badly with three and four way or not scaling at all but when you're going to select msa if they're at least scaling like a little bit they will take advantage eight times msa let's have a look guys you can see my gpu is running at stock so those two radians pro duos running at stock Fury X is a little bit higher clocked, yeah, by 50 megahertz, it's like 10, 50 megahertz, but 48 megahertz not gonna give you any performance boost, guys. Maximum, like I said, one, two FPS difference. So two Radeon Pro Duo is equal to four Fury X and Crossfire, and there is no question about it because they're based on the same Fuji XT GPU. All right, so it's loading. Let's go ahead and have a look and see where are we at i'm just curious for myself where are we at guys i will have bunch of benchmarks of the radiant pro duo and radiant pro duo and uh, two of them don't miss it out you're going to enjoy guys over the iplay 4k youtube channel wow it's scaling horribly 9 fps jesus it's scaling horribly guys yeah definitely unreal engine don't take advantages of the four gpus at all the earlier unreal 4 engine maybe the newer one will but as again in most of the cases if it's supporting crossfire or sli take care of all of your gpus especially when you're running 4k and anti-aliasing but somehow this is what i already told you if you're watching my youtube channel over the different videos Radiant 2 Radiant Pro Duo with anti-aliasing. Somehow, Radiant, since Radiant are 9290, 4 GPUs, 3, 4 GPUs, and 3 GPUs since that times, and right now in Fury X, the next evolution of those GPUs, next technology by the AMD, the next graphic evolution, the next GPU evolution, somehow those GPUs are suck when you're using 4K resolution and enabling MSAA or SSAA. Somehow, Radiant Pro Duo 2 GPUs was fine, but right now combination of four, it's kind of showing up. I'm not sure why it is like that. Maybe just the GPU architecture and stuff like that. As again, I'm, I don't work for AMD, I didn't design this GPU, but I'm just guessing. And I'm guessing somehow possibility GPU architecture, plus it doesn't, basically managing the gpus with 4k and anti-aliasing as much as nvidia does nvidia is just perfect when you're using four-way titan x it's just eating that anti-aliasing like nothing almost less than half performance it takes about quarter performance which is incredible 
but this is when it comes to Nvidia, Maxwell and Pascal. But Pascal doesn't support 4 way so why? Because it's using the highest RAM deck. Don't think that 1080 Ti will support 4-way or Titan X80, the next Titan will support 4-way SLI. No, it's not just because the bridge, it's just because they increase the RAM deck frequency to 600 MHz guys instead of 400 MHz. So your refreshing rate and everything will be much higher and much less lag for those who's, oh my god, who's running the SLI and see some lag and you know. I, personally I don't see it but some people who see that for those NVIDIA increase that and that's limiting to two GPUs now in, in SLI anyways average 11 maximum 25 minimum 2 horrible performance less performance than single Radiant Pro Duo to find out about the Radiant Pro Duo single in this game benchmark go ahead and check it out I play 4k YouTube channel plus like a lot of performance money knowledge experience and time was invested into this video guys to show it to you so you will make a better choice respect me with a like subscribe if you're not a subscriber and stay tuned don't forget to check i play 4k youtube channel for more cool videos i will see you till the next time i play 4k peace